Shawnee County, Kansas. A stolen vehicle rockets down the freeway. This Bavarian-built hot rod barrels past traffic at mind-boggling speeds. 125 miles an hour. Deputy's LT1 Camaro has the muscle to match the European racing car move for move. The LT1 is a uh, Corvette motor. It's a computer chip, which gives it even more performance than, than what the general public would have. When the Beamer guns its 240 horsepower engine, the deputy answers back with the Camaro's 350 horses. This person seemed like somebody who had his mindset on one thing, and that was getting away at all costs, no matter who was in danger. And to make this unbridled boldness even scarier, the daredevil behind the wheel is only 15 years old. At these speeds, his youth and inexperience are a lethal combination. Miles ahead, units lay down spike strips. But it's a tough call to know which lane the pedal-punching driver will be in. Finally, the suspect is right on course. Stop sticks line the road. But the team makes a startling move. The BMW quickly jams around the spike strips. Both high-performance cars attack the road and somehow keep from flipping over, even at triple-digit speeds. Suddenly, the BMW leaps into high gear, and in seconds, it cranks up to 150. Moments later, another roadblock is set up. But the teenager spots the other unit up ahead and slams on the brakes. The deputy in pursuit can barely stop in time. It's a near miss as the BMW barrels across to the other side of the freeway, blazing over the center divider. Patrol cars move in to round up this adolescent car thief. But the supercharged vehicle torpedoes from 0 to 60 in 5.7 seconds. Yet no matter where he turns or how fast he flies, the pursuing officer is right with him. The deputy pulls even. What happens next is terrifying. Once the officer gets door to door with the suspect, the team threatens to ram him. Now the subject made a uh, movement with his shoulders as if he was driving like he was going to swerve at me. The officer reacts instantly. For one heart-stopping moment, the cruiser takes flight. When the car was airborne, I thought this 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 could this could hurt. This could really hurt me. But now the deputy finds himself on a collision course with another cruiser. At the speed that he was traveling when I came back across the roadway, if we would have made contact, if I would have even touched his car, uh, it could have sent him spinning. The officer is out of the pursuit. The found a but the car stealing kid runs out of luck. A few miles away, the BMW breaks down and the suspect is caught. The capturing of the subject was probably done within 15 minutes after the time that I uh, ran into the guardrail. If the 15-year-old subject can learn one thing from this chase, I hope that he learns that it's better to stop and face the consequences now than it is to keep running. This kid was driving like he was going for the high score in a video game. But this wasn't a game. It was real. Real life, real fast. For one inexperienced underage driver, it could have been deadly. And for one experienced deputy, it was the fastest, scariest chase of his career. And a ride he will never forget.